Hey, what's up, guys? Mr. Park here with a homework help video on Lesson 6.2 uh, Homework. So, looking at this, um, you want to complete the input and output tables for each function and graph the points aligned. So, basically, what you're doing with both 1 and 2 is you're, right here, you're going to have to pick numbers. I'd go with smaller numbers like negative um, 1, 0, 1, 2, in order to find those points. Okay, so that's kind of help you there. I'm actually going to work number two just so you, uh, just so we can kind of make sure we're understanding that. So your first step will be to input the values that they have. So like negative four. So you would say four over negative four. Four over negative four is negative one. So you put a negative one as the output. Go to the next one. Four over the x. Remember x is input, y is output. 4 divided by negative 2 is negative 2. So you got negative 2 here. You do it again. 4 divided by negative 1. 4 divided by negative 1 will give you your output, which is basically y. So 4 divided by negative 1 would be negative 4. And then you can kind of do these in your head. 4 divided by 1 is f uh, 4. 4 divided by 2 is 2. And 4 divided by 4 is 1. Now you have all these points that need to be graphed. So you just graph them all. Negative 4, negative 1 negative 4, negative 1, negative 2, negative 2, negative 1, negative 4, 1, 4, 2, 2, 4, 1, like that. And then as we know, this is going to be nonlinear because you have a x in the denominator. So what this graph actually looks like, it's going to be two curves in quadrant 1 and quadrant 3. So it looks something like this. Okay. So basically it's the input output. You are just literally um, finding what the outputs are and then graphing it from there. Uh, Again, if you're looking at number one, those are just some numbers you can use. Find the output, plot it, and it should, x squared, it should, your graph should be looking something like that in the very end. Okay. Uh, let's pick some down here to kind of look at. Let's go with, um, let's go with number, um, let's go with number eight. So the question you got to ask yourself, does, is x in the denominator or does x have a exponent greater than one? Right here, x is in the denominator, so it's automatically non-linear. And if it's non-linear, uh, it's neither proportional or non-proportional. Um, going to 6, 7x plus 2 cubed. Now don't let this confuse you. That cube is on this 2, which actually simplifies to f of x equals 7x plus 8. So is there an exponent that's greater than 1 on x? No, there's not. Is x in the denominator? No. So therefore, this is linear. And since it has a y, a b of 8, it is non-proportional. So when you're looking at all these, you're looking for two things. Okay? Those two things are this. Does the x have a exponent greater than 1? So example, x squared, x cubed, x to the fourth. And then the second thing is x in the denominator, such as 2 over x. 5 over x. Those are your two things you look for. If it doesn't have that, then it's going to be linear. Look at this. 10. f of x equals 10. That's the same thing as y equals 10. So is x in the denominator? No, because there is no x. Does x have an exponent greater than 1? No, because there is no x. So therefore, it is linear. And y equals uh, 10. And obviously, the origin is not it. So it's th therefore, it's going to be non-proportional. Looking here at uh, 15, y equals x squared over, excuse me, x squared over 5. The x has an exponent greater than 1, so therefore it would be um, nonlinear. If the x has an exponent greater than 1, it's nonlinear. Okay, and if it's nonlinear, it's neither nonproportional or proportional. Okay, looking at uh, this right here, 16x equals y. Well, slope printer set form would be y equals x, just flipping that around. So, does x is x in the denominator? No. Does it have an exponent greater than 1? Uh, no. So, therefore, it is linear. And because it doesn't have a b, it is proportional. Okay. 
that looks like that concludes this uh, video for um, lesson 6.2 homework. If you have any questions, feel free to uh, see myself in the morning, Ms. Parsons. Thank you so much uh, for your attention. I don't know why I just said that, but hey, have a good night.